Hello everyone. In this session, we'll be discussing about velocity analysis of slider crank mechanism. Uh, consider a slider crank mechanism in which OA is a crank, AB is a connecting rod, and B is a slider. At an instant, the crank is making uh, say an angle theta with the horizontal and it is rotating clockwise with an angular velocity omega radian per second so from this configuration diagram uh, we will be graphically analyzing the velocity of the point A with respect to O the velocity of point B with respect to A and the velocity of point B with respect to O that is the velocity of slider and as uh, we already know that velocity of any point on the link is perpendicular to the link and its uh, magnitude is omega times the length of the link or the distance of the point from the fixed center if it is rotating about that fixed center so velocity of point a with respect to o in this particular configuration will be first of all perpendicular to the link oa and its magnitude will be omega into oa that is velocity of point a with respect to o will be perpendicular to oa and its magnitude is omega into oa where o is the length of the crank in the same way velocity of point b with respect to a on link ab will be perpendicular to link ab as ab is the rigid link so velocity of point b with respect to a will be perpendicular to link ab but we don't know the direction uh, of the link as well as the magnitude is unknown so we th only know that its orientation is perpendicular to ab in the same way the velocity of slider is that is velocity of b with respect to o is along the line of action of this capital ob so we know velocity of point a with magnitude and direction we only know the direction of velocity of b with respect to a and we know the direction of velocity of b with respect to o so let's make the velocity triangle uh, from this slider crank uh, mechanism we are drawing the velocity diagram so first consider any point o and draw a line oa perpendicular to capital oa which is representing velocity of point a with respect to o then from point a draw a vector draw a vector ab such that it gives the line of velocity of b with respect to a as ab is a rigid link of the mechanism so velocity of b with respect to a that is vba is perpendicular to capital ab so from point a draw a vector ab perpendicular to this link AB as we don't know the direction of AB as I just mentioned so we'll make a free line with known inclination now the velocity of point B with respect to O that is VB is along this line of action of O so from point O we have drawn a straight line, horizontal straight line 
which meets the vector AB at point B. This OB represents velocity of slider and AB represents velocity of point B with respect to A. So this OAB is the required velocity triangle. Clear? Now suppose we consider any point C on this link AB. So the velocity of any point C on this link AB can be determined by the expression of uh, velocity and configuration diagram similarity that AC upon AB is we know that AC is velocity of C with respect to A will be omega of AC that is omega of link AB into the distance AC in the same way this VBA that is velocity of B with respect to A is this AB small AB and its magnitude is omega AB into AB omega for AC and AB will be same as point C is on link AB so AC upon AB is equals to capital AC upon AB so this AC can be evaluated so from point A mark a point small c on the vector AB which represents velocity of point C with respect to A and if we uh, clear and also if we join from point O to C it will give the absolute velocity of point C that is velocity of point C with respect to O okay clear and from this uh, expression that is AC is equals to omega AB into AC that is velocity of or from the expression AB is equals to omega AB into AB where omega AB is the angular velocity of this link AB which is the connecting rod so we can determine the angular velocity also that is omega AB is equals to VBA that is velocity of B with respect to A upon the length of the connecting rod that is AB and its direction will be counterclockwise about B so hope you are clear that we can determine the velocity of point A B and slider and any point on link C on link AB with the help of graphical method thank you thank you so much uh, for any query you can contact uh, me by my gmail id gagan bansal 12345 at the rate gmail.com or you can mail me at gagan bansal at the rate geu.ac.in and for more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel Gagan Bansal that is G-A-G-A-N-B-A-N-S-A-L Thank you, thank you so much